Hey everybody, G4 Video 5 here, and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the definitive edition. In this part, we will be completing the mission Demolition Man for Avery Carrington. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as plan, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? So this right here is a very infamous mission, and some would say that this is the hardest mission in the game. And I don't agree with that, but I do agree with it causing a lot of grief to a lot of folks over the years, myself included in that, as uh, when I first played through this game, I don't know if I ever beat this mission because it was just so difficult controlling the RC helicopter that we are given control over during this mission. And I think in the Definitive Edition version of this game, we are using mobile controls, where they've simplified the controls, in quotes, simplified, uh, by making it to where you really control this RC helicopter with the left analog stick exclusively. There's still the acceleration and deceleration button, but, uh, you know, beyond that, you don't have the bumper controls anymore or anything like that. And I have to say, I kind of like the old controls a bit more, because I felt like I had more control over what I was really doing. But, either way, um, as we can see, we have to drop bombs, knees weak, arms heavy, in four different locations within this building. And these locations are guarded heavily by construction workers and security guards. And the construction workers are mostly inoffensive. I mean, they might say a couple dirty things to us, and they will try hammering us from behind as they have hammers, but, um, you know, I think that they're... Uh, pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things. It's the security guards that have pistols that you really got to watch out for because they can attack you from long range. What the f oh. So there is an achievement associated with this mission that requires you to use the RC helicopter's blades to slice and dice these enemies that we have within this construction site, as you need to take care of all of these enemies in order to get your achievement. And, um, <laughs> I suppose an easy way of doing that would be to take your time by ignoring the bombs at the beginning of this mission. What I did was I instantly picked one up, and that activated a timer in the top right corner of the screen. So if that timer is a bit too much to deal with on top of taking care of all of the enemies, then what you can do is ignore the bombs, head straight into the construction site, go along all the different levels of this construction site, take care of all of the enemies, and then exit the building, and then plant the bombs. I decided to activate the timer, because I don't really find the timer too difficult to deal with. What was that? <laughs> that was a very Skyrim-esque bit of dialogue right there. <laughs> Because in that game, you know, it's an RPG, and so there is a sneak skill, and with a high sneak skill in combat, you can get away with a lot of literal murder. And, <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking about it right now, where let's say you assassinate an enemy while you have a very high sneak skill, and let's say there are enemies around that person, well, uh, you know, they might say something like, What was that? You know, in response to their friend getting slain right beside them, and they don't even notice you, so... They don't have, like, the best reactions to that type of stuff. You know, must have been the wind. Uh, but uh, that's just classic Bethesda uh, voice acting right there. And speaking of voice acting, once again, Burt Reynolds is the voice actor for Avery Carrington, which is fantastic stuff. Uh, not so fantastic as what has gone on behind the scenes, apparently, between Burt Reynolds and Rockstar. As uh, there seem to have been some differences in how to handle some things. And a lot of people think that because there were problems behind the scenes between Burt Reynolds and Rockstar, that's why um, Avery Carrington doesn't have that big of a role in this game beyond the opening bits of this game. Because he does seem like he should be more of a prominent character, but he's really not. He only appears in a handful of missions. Damn! I gotta lay off the pills! I'm seeing shit! You 
want me to drill you? He sounded really excited to get slain by that propeller blade there. Um, but I'd say that guy's my favorite. You want me to drill you? <laughs> it's, just, it's great stuff. I love this mission. Um, at least these days I love this mission. Uh, you know, back in the day, not so much. But uh, I do want to point out that there is one more enemy uh, that can be a bit problematic down here. As, um, yeah, it just seems like he pops out of the woodworks after you plant a couple bombs. Some piss and lift around, I'll bust your wise ass toy! <laughs> There's a great example of an enemy who is all talk, but then a complete cakewalk when it comes time for combat. So, classic stuff right there. Uh, we have one more bomb to plant within this building, and we have about three and a half minutes to do so. So, we are going to take our sweet ass time to clear out this final floor of this building, as we don't want to plant the bomb right away. And it's going to be tempting to, because I know it's like located right in front of the stairwell, but we don't want to do that. We want to make sure we clear out these floors first before planting the final bomb, as, as once you plant the final bomb, the mission ends. And so we don't want to do that without getting our achievement. So, yeah, we do want to be careful. And a uh, bit of advice for taking care of these enemies with the RC helicopter is to descend all the way to the ground on whatever floor you're on, and then tilt the helicopter in the direction of the enemy that you're trying to take care of. So with this guy, for example, we are going to descend all the way and then tilt the helicopter ever so slightly into the direction of the enemy, and that flips him like a pancake there. So <laughs> it's very fun stuff, and it's even greater when they just run right into you like that guy did. Um, and you know, you can't help but kind of feel bad for these pervs as, uh, I mean, they're just minding their own business, hammering away <laughs> at this construction site. Uh, but, you know, here we are just causing mayhem, uh, you know, for Avery Carrington there. And uh, we still have some more enemies here. Though this guy coming out of the woodworks, just <laughs> off screen there. And then these uh, security guards not really knowing how to react to this helicopter. So I think at this point we've taken care of everybody. So what we're going to do now is plant this final bomb and then sit back and watch the whole show. In the words of Joey Leone. Seeing all those explosions reminds me of myself in the slacks area after enchilada night. Yeah, but anyway, that wraps up this part. In the next part, we will be doing the first mission for Colonel Cortez, which is called Treacherous Swine. So until then, I will see you next time. Yeah.